Hello indie game fans, I've recently posted on the community tab asking you folks what are the indie games that you're most excited about and I have read all of your responses so thanks to those who did leave a comment. I have very unscientifically did a quick count on how often these games are mentioned so here are the top 15 best upcoming indie games big community edition. So stick around to find out what company you are in. Beginning with The Siege and The Sandfox. I was pretty surprised that this self-titled Stealthvania got as high up on the list as it did, mainly because it was reviewed in 2017 but does not have many updates since then. If you're not in the know, think old school Prince of Persia mixed with a little bit of the immersive sim, a little like Wildfire, and you get the idea. I love what they are doing with the art and the lighting, and as far as I know, this is still in development and perhaps will be released someday in the future. Another long, long anticipated title, Etia is at least 6 years in development and is something that you folks are looking forward to, presumably due to the combination of the pixel art and Diablo style loot. Due to funding issues, development on the game has slowed considerably but it is not cancelled with the developer's last update on Reddit being about a month ago. So still signs of life and wishing them all the best. The retro first-person shooter Proteus also got your attention since this looks like a reimagined Doom from the 90s but with the modern polish and intentionally made to look old school. I quite like the look of this myself due to the art style but the action looks fast and awesome with powerful looking weapons and that all important visual feedback. Some bad news for those of you looking forward to Flynn Son of Crimson since the release date on the Steam store page has been changed to 2021. So another delay but to be honest, one which I've been expecting. Featuring front and center in my upcoming pixel art games video of 2019, it has been quite a while since we first saw this title but the developer has been tweeting gifs of the game, showing the UI an underwater section and more of the combat, and I'm happy to report that it still looks fantastic. Hyperlight Drifter is pretty popular with this community, so of course, their next title, Solar Ash, will be of interest. This recently got a big showcase and was confirmed for the PS5 with beautiful visuals and an interesting skating travel mechanic. The good news for those of you looking forward to Star Renegades is that this is releasing very soon indeed. This pixel art roguelite RPG is my most anticipated title of the year, so the 8th of September cannot come soon enough. On top of the animated trailer shown off recently, this one shows off the parallax and 2D X in the game which is gorgeous as well, where you play as a bunch of rebels fighting against the corrupting galactic empire. This developer has been showing off the animations, some of which are up to 500 frames which is very impressive, so kudos to them and cannot wait.
I've said it before and I'll say it again that the Pixel Arts Metroidvania is my favourite combination of art style and genre, and it seems like many of you are on board as well, since Gestalt, Steam and Cinder ranked pretty high. I think that Steampunk has the capacity to make a comeback, and this game is an excellent example of this, and with a veteran pixel artist powering the visuals, it really does look very impressive. Speaking of beautiful, the very Chrono Trigger-like RPG Sea of Stars is from the developer of The Messenger and instantly captured the hearts and minds of many, leading to an extremely successful Kickstarter campaign and without a doubt, many of you like me are keeping an eye on this. I do like the duality in the main characters, combining the power of the sun and moon against an enemy only known as the Flesh Mancer. This is still a ways off, but pretty hyped myself. I know that I'm doing something right if a large number of you are looking forward to the pixel art adventure game The Last Night. While it did get showcased at one of the E3 press conferences, this, again, gets the attention of many for how great it looks. This is still in development, controversies aside which the developer has addressed, but it does look to explore one vision of the future that we are scarily inching towards. Zelda Like a Fox Tunic is one of my personal most anticipated titles simply because I love the low poly art, so don't just label me as obsessed with pixel art. Of course, the fox character is adorable, but the action looks weighty and there appears to be a nice variety of enemies. I do think that this developer is quite a private individual and is hunkering down to complete the game with a demo that will be showed off next week at the Indie Arena booth. The Ninja Gaiden-esque action platformer Cyber Shadow also gets a high rank since it is another retro title but with modern flair and looks wonderful. The action and theme does remind me of The Messenger, only more sci-fi, with a classic revenge tale and awesome looking action. Contrary to what some people are spouting, this is not a metroidvania, but with the developer of Shovel Knight being involved in this project, this has high potential to be excellent. A surprise entry, the fluid metroidvania Savior impressed many of you with the fluidity of the animation and the free-form parkour movement, where our heroine can jump, backflip, swim, dive and more. Some of you, rightfully so, are a little skeptical regarding how much control you will actually have over the character but we'll have to wait and see on that. Another pixel art metroidvania makes the list with The Last Feet, described as Bloodborne crossed with Blasphemous, and boy, am I excited. The classic gothic horror aesthetic harkens back to Castlevania, and this looks like the what if scenario if those classic games continue in the high bit pixel art direction. 
another huge Kickstarter success with over 4 times the amount asked for. This has good momentum and I hope it carries on to the targeted release next year. The post-apocalyptic action-adventure game Eastward also features where you play as the unlikely duo of a hard-working miner and a mysterious young girl adventuring through the world, discovering the wonders and perhaps seeking a brighter future. There are various mutant and robotic enemies, environmental puzzles and a whole host of strange characters to encounter and simply looks like a great time. Unsurprisingly, Hollow Knight Silk Song easily takes the number one spot since many of you, like me, are big fans of the original. From what started off as a spin-off character DLC, it has spawned into a whole new adventure, this time thematically quite the contrast to Hollow Knight. While there have only been some teasers, please do not harass the developers for a release date and just let them work their magic. God knows that they don't need the money and are doing it out of love of their craft and we, luckily, will eventually get to experience it. So that rounds off the video, I do hope that you got a better understanding of your fellow community members and stay tuned for more interesting picks from the list. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.